Hey, welcome to the episode where we ride the bus. <laughs> yeah. This is Scarlet Hollow. This is a horror visual novel. Uh, no, oh my God, horror visual novel, I think. Yeah. Um, I kind of skimmed the store page, saw that it was something I was interested in, and read as little as possible as I could to try and keep it a surprise. Yeah. But this was recommended to us by someone in our comments section, which is something that does not happen very often. It's only happened once before. Yeah. So we wanted to give it a look. I thought it would look pretty cool. Yeah, it looks interesting. It's not done, though, I think. Yeah, I think there's four, five I episodes think or whatever. Four episodes currently with four more planned. This was released yeah. back in 2021, I think, and hasn't gotten a new episode since. But I think it's supposed to get one this year, maybe if what I yeah. saw was correct. I might be remembering wrong. But uh, this, so uh, eventually this will just end and we'll just have to wait, I guess. <laughs> maybe we'll release like per episode in between other series. Uh, yeah, maybe something like know, that. Maybe something like that. We'll see. We'll see. But uh, let's find out. Hopefully there's voice acting to some degree because my voice is going to get shot if I have to read everything out loud. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> baby. Oh, boy. <laughs> Your name is, what should our name be? <laughs> no, let's, let's pick no, a no. <laughs> no, probably not that. <laughs> uh, how about... Uh, uh, it's oh no. Oh no. Whoops. We live in the city of... Hmm. Um, we oh need something boy. horrifying that fits the theme of this horror visual novel, so... <laughs> I'm Instagram. I live in the city of Twitter. Oh boy. <laughs> well, now we pick. We should have picked this first, so we know who to what to yeah. name. Yeah. Uh, are we gonna play as a mang, a woman, or shut up? Who cares? <laughs> uh, well, basically every time I play a game that you can choose, I play as a girl. So <laughs> let's make it a. I usually pick guy just because I'm a guy. Let's make it a in between. Let's compromise, eh? Yeah. Hey? <laughs> yeah. They them. Uh, oh, Trace wow. and Lock. Okay. What the? What the hell? I thought this was a visual novel. Talk to animals. <laughs> excuse me. Talk. Hot. Everything else. <laughs> Can I have this and this? <laughs> Hold on. To a, a traits unlock additional paths and dialogue options. Oh, this is like unique. Okay. I think that it mentioned yeah. that most people play this game twice because of the choices you can make and stuff. Yeah. Powerful build, tough as nails, the pinnacle of fitness, an imposing presence that command, commands the room, a mean right hook. I don't want to punch people, that's mean. Mystical, strange, and unusual, you see the threads of reality in ways others cannot. That sounds fun. I don't need a third eye, I have two, I mean, come on. <laughs> you know what they say about third wheels? Unless it's a tricycle, in which case it's vital. <laughs> you can talk to animals. Animals can talk to you. A gift and a curse. Excuse Ooh. me. We should have named them Dr. Doolittle. <laughs> Doolittle, yeah. Street smart, good at lying and hard to lie too. Fast talker, you can read people and read the room. No door can hold you. So mm. just a hooligan? You're going to play as a hooligan. The, the rogue class. Oh my god. <laughs> Keen eye, observant with a knack for picking up small details, empathetic. So nerd, the nerd class, nerd class guys. <laughs> but but book smart is the, the nerd class though. It looks like he's holding a magnifying glass. That's just the middle of his giant nerd glasses. He has <laughs> giant nerd glasses, guys. Book smart, well read and rational, possess a wealth of esoteric knowledge and know when to use it. A talented researcher. All right. I had to pick two of these. Oh, I can pick talk to animals in a hot. <laughs> Extremely good looking, a natural flirt. People just like you because uh, probably because you're a good person. Honestly, I'm not going to pick this because I don't think it fits me. Um, <laughs> well, I want to talk to animals just because that yeah. seems quirky and fun. And it seems like it might have like more. All of these seem like they probably yeah. have equal opportunities for unique things that could happen. Yeah. But I think that walking up to like, I don't know, a bear and being like, hey, what's up? And he's like, oh, I was eating berries earlier and they're not <laughs> settling very good and be like, interesting. But like after the first couple of times, it's like, ah, whatever, the bear ate berries, I guess. I tried to catch a salmon, but <laughs> I went to the river and the salmon jumped in my mouth. What an idiot. And it's like, yeah, you and every other bear kid. <laughs> he tasted real good, though. Mm, can't wait to sleep for several months at a time. Yeah, I wouldn't say talk to animals, and then... 
I do hope we have like a cat that's in the group and I talk to it like literally <laughs> yeah. and everyone else is like, uh, man, they hold weird conversations with that cat. It just meows back. <laughs> talk to animals. We have to pick talk to animals. Yeah. Um, I'm thinking maybe either mystical or street smart. Street smart or mystical. You want to be a hooligan or a cult leader? Yeah. Why not? A new wave. God dang alternative medicine <laughs> fool. Hey, yeah. guys, don't worry. I can solve this. I brought my crystals. <laughs> I brought my copper bowl that I can bang with a stick. It's very soothing. Do you feel its regenerative powers when I hit you with these sound waves? Bong, bong. Have you seen videos of that? There are videos out there of people who are like, hey, if you hit this bowl with a stick, the sound waves will heal you. <laughs> Okay, uh, which one? Street Smart or Smith Mystical? Since I'm the one controlling mm. and will be playing this, I'll let you have the control of what kind of character I will be playing. Mm. If you pick Mystical, I'm going to choose all the options where it's all like, hey guys, what if aliens did it? <laughs> and if you pick Street Smart, I'm just going to pickpocket whoever I can. I'm just going to be a hooligan. <laughs> so that's your conspir- warning. <laughs> Conspiracy theorist, but you actually can for real talk to animals. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to have like a rat in my pocket that I use to like either pickpocket people or like just kind of spy on them, I guess. And then pretend that I just like clairvoyanced my way into knowing things. You know what I mean? I wish pocket rat was was real. Pocket rat can be real if you believe hard enough. Uh, Let's go with street smart, I guess. Street smart. Okay, we're playing a hooligan who can talk to animals, guys. Yeah. You can have your pocket rat go and steal things for you. There is no voice acting. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Let me take a sip real quick. (laughs) You jolt awake as the bus hits a particularly nasty bump. You feel like you'd only just managed to start drifting off, and now here you are, awake again and still exhausted. For a moment, you're hazy on the details of where exactly here is, confusing this bus with the many others that came before it. But as your mind continues to reassert its existence in the waking world, the past few days come back into focus. The long lost cousin, the bad news, the 26 hours of bus rides with countless late night stops and seedy depots that felt unsafe even in the middle of the day. You wouldn't normally find yourself traveling like this, but your cousin bought the tickets. Uh, how did, how did the late night stops at the depots feel unsafe during the day uh there was a mothman <laughs> on the depot ceiling watch out he was just upside down watching us the whole time with his glowing red eyes you got to be careful about those mothmans i didn't talk to him though i was very you could shy. because he was half moth so you <laughs> could probably have a pretty complete conversation with him <laughs> the funeral of perlene scott Your cousin's mother and your aunt seemed like something you shouldn't ignore, even considering your own late mother's rocky relationship with this side of the family. Fortunately, the end of your long journey is in sight. I actually see a chair in front of me. I don't see anything else, honestly, (laughs) with this like Rugrats ass 90s ass texture in front of me. Uh oh. (laughs) You're almost in Scarlet Hollow. So anyway, as I was saying, Uh I says to him, I says, (laughs) oh, somebody is talking to us. Apparently, guy, you need to calm (laughs) down. Whatever you're excited about, I'm not sharing in. (laughs) Oh, no, he's still here. He's been sitting next to you for the past five hours talking at you without Uh pause. Oh, my God. How are you still awake? I went to sleep and woke up. (laughs) You're still talking. He just didn't notice. (laughs) <laughs> Literally, he didn't stop when I dozed <laughs> off. You're not sure he even stopped when you started to... This guy talked to you while your eyes were closed and you were snoring. The <laughs> psychopath. Get away from him. I want to yeah, says his shirt. <laughs> At first, you thought he was just being friendly, but that was several hours of one-sided conversation to go. He did not care that you put your headphones on and started looking at your phone. <laughs> Better or worse than the creepy guy from Bloodwash? <laughs> Whoopsie doopsie. I was up and worse, honestly, because the guy in <laughs> blood wash was like immediately a weirdo. This guy just wouldn't stop talking to you while you were asleep. <laughs> Imagine the other people on the bus. That guy's just talking Are. to someone who's asleep. We're fucking psycho. Are there other people on the bus? Uh, maybe not. That could be the twist. Perhaps there's no driver. <laughs> 
I was up in Maryland looking for work, but mostly messing around because I was a dumb teen. Me and my buddies were doing our usual prank stuff, you know, look at this cute little smile face. You know, <laughs> pushing joggers into the harbor. That's uh, what? Yeah, perfectly normal. Driver, this guy is a weirdo. Can we please stop? <laughs> He's a psychopath. Oh, uh, I have choices, many choices. Street smarts, I have a unique, I'll probably try <laughs> to lean towards the unique choices. Fain and ill. <laughs> Wait, what? Dude, what's wrong Dude. with you? Hell yeah, sounds awesome. Why are you talking to me? Remain silent. Honestly, if I was this person, I'd probably be like, Dude, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> yeah. Shut the hell up. I, w I just woke up to you still talking to me. I was asleep. Were you not paying attention? <laughs> we should feign an illness, though. Yeah, very Fain an illness by, like, covertly sticking our th finger down our throat and just throwing up <laughs> on his shoes and be like, Oh, just God, up no. On him. Yeah. <laughs> You violently fake a coughing fit, pretending to be sick uh, has always been one of the better ways to get people to leave you alone in strange places. Oh, are you sick? That's all right. I'm pretty sure I've already had whatever you've got. I'm sick all the time. Got to keep my immune system that, on its toes, you know. That's not that's not how that works. So this girl comes up to us swinging her purse, yelling about how she was going to call the cops or whatever. It was hilarious. She actually hit my friend and he said it hurt a lot, so I guess she really was mad and not just planned. You were but she kept shoving. swinging and soon enough she lost her balance and fell into the harbor all on her own. We didn't even have to push her. We had a good laugh and fished her out and her phone got soaked so she couldn't call the cops on us. We wound up hanging out all day. Well, what about the other people he pushed into the harbor? Did I bring my taser? <laughs> I hope you brought your taser. Oh, God. In my wristwatch, my wristwatch taser. Just real quick be like, what time is it? And then I just press the button, it goes beep, and just shoots them with tasers, and laser lasers. <laughs> Whatever is the little wires they shoot. Yeah. She kind of became my girlfriend after that. Excuse me, how? What? You're incredibly <laughs> unlikable. You were shoving people into a harbor. How? <laughs> is this like you're like you're looking back and you're pretending that your weird stalker obsession with her was her being your girlfriend? Is that what it is? That's probably what it is. Do I have a life alert thing around my neck? Am I just jamming that right now? Is the button broken? Is it broken? <laughs> is it stuck? surreptitiously dialing 911 behind your back as we speak. Not even behind your back, just in your face. I'm talking to the <laughs> cops while looking directly into your eyes. <laughs> yeah. We've been on and off for about a year, so it's pretty serious. Though about five months ago, she tried to break up with me, like, for real, and geez. You ever just get so mad you just want to, like, kill somebody? Yeah, that's 100% just him, like, stalking this girl. Stop trying to get a rise out of me. Uh, threaten. I kind of <laughs> feel like killing someone right now. I never felt that way, no. Oh yeah, all the time. What's wrong with What's you? What's wrong with you? Smile and pretend he didn't just say that. Should we just go with street smart and just be like, stop trying to get a rise out of me. I know what you're yeah. doing, you f***ing idiot. I'm not going to be your TikTok video getting you famous, kid. He probably posts on 4chan. He probably posts, what? Well, he probably posts on TikTok. Yeah. This is one of those things where like they just say inappropriate stuff and they don't realize that the people in those super popular videos were paid off to react to it. Yeah. They're actors, guys. In case anybody stumbled upon <laughs> this and makes quote unquote prank videos, guys, <laughs> they pay those people to react to it. They're actors. <laughs> <laughs> Dorks. Stop trying to get a rise out of me, you fucking psycho. <laughs> Stop it, says oh Instagram. My God. I forgot you were named Instagram. <laughs> I hate TikTok. Stop what? Whatever it is you think you're doing right now, you know what I'm talking about. This whole corner of stranger on the bus and try to make them uncomfortable act. I'm not playing along. I'm not going to be your TikTok and focus, jerk ass. Haha, <laughs> all right. All right. Maybe I never really wanted to kill her. Even if I threatened it a little bit. Can we just throw him out the window? Like Can we just right like now? kick him in the face and kick him through those windows <laughs> through the window? <laughs> anyway, she's giving birth to our son right now. So I'm trying to get up to Virginia to be there for it. I don't think you're going to make it, kid. <laughs> also, I'm pretty sure you're lying to me. Did, did she tell you she was in Virginia? <laughs> but I don't know if I'm like into that stuff. So I'm just wind up so I might just wind up on the bus to New York or something instead I've always wanted to go there this bus is headed towards uh, uh, Scarlet Hollow kid I don't know yeah. how you realize that's like right next to Virginia I'm pretty sure maybe <laughs> seriously yes. what the hell is wrong with you haha <laughs> that's an interesting smart move get out while you can I'm just gonna f ignore mm. him f you yeah yeah 
You sit in silence as his man admits he's threatened to murder the soon-to-be mother of his child. I'm pretty sure he's lying. I don't even know if that's yeah. true. Get out of here, kid. A child whose birth he is currently missing and considering <laughs> ditching to go have fun. And I'm, he's lying. F*** him. He's definitely just some kind he's of lying. edgelord. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, where'd you say you were headed? I didn't, nerd. Don't answer. F*** you. Yeah. You don't say a word. The last thing you need right now is for him to know. I literally went to sleep while you were talking to me. Yeah. I don't want to interact with you. I don't want him to know where I'm going to be staying for the next week. Yeah. Mm, if you aren't getting off at my stop, then you must be headed to Scarlet. Oh, no, he he, he, he cracked the code, guys. He's going to find me. <laughs> oh, no, he's the final boss. I can't wait for him to be the outsider who's in the dream world. It's going to be like, hey, guess what? These powers, you're welcome. <laughs> he's 100% going to start stalking you. Maybe. Uh oh. <laughs> I'll just go to New York, then he'll never bother me. <laughs> Nailed it. I know how to beat you, kid. Uh, Scarlet Hollow, right? Or the Holler, as they call it. That's a weird way to call it. That the Holler? is a really weird way to, thing to call it. I will that. continue to call it Scarlet Hollow, because that's his name. <laughs> or the Hollow. I don't know why it's the Holler. The Hollow made more sense. Maybe I just don't get it. Maybe I'll get it when I get there. I don't know. I guess it's an accent thing. Maybe Scarlet Hollow or Holler. something. Yeah. Is it like West? Uh, where, where'd they say it was? Virginia? Mm, he said his girlfriend, some quote unquote girlfriend, was in West Virginia, but. That might be why I'm thinking of Virginia. I think we know where we're actually we're at. We're in right New now. England somewhere because West yeah. Virginia, New York. We wouldn't be taking yeah. a bus with this guy and talking about it if we weren't <laughs> somewhere in New England. It was a. Tw didn't say it was a 26 hour bus ride, so. God dang. We could be from anywhere then. Yeah, <laughs> but if we're in, on the bus with this guy, because we've had multiple buses, yeah, then this guy could be evidence that we're in New England at least. Yeah, that's the only other stop until this bus turns around. I ride it pretty often, so I'd why? So I'd know. Almost nobody ever goes up that way though. Actually, I mean, I had a couple of buddies who <laughs> went up there to work in the mine. There's a coal mine up in the holler, you see, and there's always a job listing or two on the boards around there. I mean, I guess, like, these kinds of spooky horror towns are always in New England, so... Hey, welcome to the episode where we ride the bus. <laughs> yeah. I've never wanted to do that kind of thing myself. I like my lungs the way they are. Thanks, but my buddies get desperate enough to try it. I haven't heard from them in a while. Now that I... What was with you and your small little smiles that you have, kid? <laughs> yeah. Now that I think about it, I should see if they're on Facebook... Uh, see how they're doing out there. I'm um, weird. It's uh, surprising they don't have like their own like parody version of Facebook. They're just straight yeah, up like just, hey, Facebook guys. It's just Facebook. I can't wait until somebody and mentions Instagram <laughs> in the story. <laughs> and I'll be like, what? And they're gonna be like, oh no, I meant the app. They're like, app? <laughs> like you're just totally oblivious just, to the app. <laughs> uh, same thing with what, what did you put in Twitter for your Twitter? <laughs> Whoops, you're from Twitter? Like, literally from Twitter? <laughs> Man, that's rough. Yeah, I'm from Twitter. Oh, that must... that That's rough. Oh, God. <laughs> See how they're doing up there. <laughs> Hope they didn't die. <laughs> they're probably dead. Oh, this is me. It was lovely meeting you. Hope you don't get too bored without me around to talk to. Here, oh, I have something for oh. you. Oh boy. The stranger rifles through his pack before presenting it with a dropping Ugh. a bag of peanuts. Very mysterious green colored peanuts. Ugh. They're boiled peanuts. I got them at a gas station a few buses back. I noticed you haven't eaten much. Uh, what? So I figured you could use them more than me. What are you talking about, you psychopath? <laughs> I hope you enjoy the trash can these end up in the second I step off the bus. <laughs> yeah. Plus they drip, dripped all over my bags, so I don't want to carry them anymore. Tip. Sometimes picking a dialogue option establishes new facts about who you are. Yeah. I don't want your f***ing peanuts. <laughs> no way. Screw you and screw your peanuts, you actual <laughs> asshole. I have been trying yeah. this entire trip to ignore you. I have literally gone to sleep trying to ignore you. <laughs> Eat the peanuts. No, thank no. you. I'm allergic to peanuts. No, thanks. Take. Uh, hey, f*** off. How about no? Screw <laughs> you and screw your peanuts, you psychopath. Hey, man, I'm just trying to be friendly. Look, there's still a good 15, uh, 45, man, I was way off. 
45 <laughs> minutes left in your journey, pal. Assuming nothing goes wrong. Best to have them on hand. No, don't fuck them. No, I don't want them. Shut up. The young man sets the penis down on the empty seat next to him. The juices, the juices, dribble out through the bottom of the bag and into the upholstery, instantly soaking into. What the? F I guess because they're boiled. But why would they be that wet? Ugh. It said brine. He didn't say it was boiled in salt water. <laughs> yeah. And with that, I leave you. Safe travels, friend. Uh, Good freaking riddance. I'm not taking that. <laughs> yeah, we're not. Uh... I can't wait for episode five to come out or whatever. And then it turns <laughs> out we needed that to not die. And just like that, you're alone. The stranger's peanuts soaking into the seat across from you. you gross. Where they're going to stay. Maybe you can finally get some sleep. Next stop, the, the holler, as I've learned. <laughs> End of the line. Almost there. Hometown is Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> Look at our little pointer, how it's like cut off at the wrist bone. Uh, I don't actually see it. You don't see the pointer? No, it doesn't show oh, it to me. Oh, that's a shame. I see. They'll see it, I hope. Yeah. The, it's like a little like oh. dried out hand with like a skeleton <laughs> bone at the wrist. It's like, you'll see it. The bus finally comes to a stop. It's brakes squealing as it deposits you in front of the Scarlet Hollow bus station. The Scarlet Hollow bus station. The sign at least reads bus station, but calling it that feels disingenuous. At best, it's a kiosk. Though for a small town like this, you're amazed there's so much as a road. Let alone a bus that drives on it every week. This is going to be a long ass series since I have to read everything. Yeah, how, how big is this town? Jeez. The driver quickly shuts the doors behind you and starts the engine, kicking up dust clouds as he pulls away, eager to leave you and this place behind. Those peanuts belong to him now. Excuse who the f are you? <laughs> no! And then I pull out my pepper spray and immediately get him in the face. <laughs> Which hey, Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> You instantly <laughs> wreck No, I didn't. I instantly tried to pepper spray them, actually. <laughs> Why didn't we do that for the creepy guy on the bus, though? The pepper spray? I was saving it for a special occasion. I get creepy guys <laughs> on the bus all the time. Remember my story from Bloodwash about the crazy ass people I saw on the bus? <laughs> I instantly recognized the worn young woman from the few public photos on her Facebook. Facebook, they're going to mention Twitter and Instagram. Oh, no. Oh, no. I didn't realize. I thought they were going to make like their own in-universe versions. Uh oh, <laughs> that's going to be very awkward. Why did your parents name you Instagram? They, they really they met on Instagram and they were like, you know. <laughs> met, which uh, has been around long enough for you to be however old you are. Uh -oh. they, they, it was coincidence, actually. <laughs> they met then time traveled far enough back to <laughs> name me Instagram. <laughs> She's your cousin, Tabitha, and she looks annoyed to be here. Uh, looks like somebody needs a hug. Uh, hey, Tabitha, <laughs> give her your condolences. Rema condolences? What happened? Uh, Did they you're mention? here for a funeral. funeral. Of... funeral. Right. What, what was her name? Pearl Ann? <laughs> hey, Tabitha, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry for your loss, Tabitha. She looks really mad to see me. <laughs> yeah. Yes, great, thank you. Okay, I take it back then, f*** you. I mean <laughs> Let's get back to the- you have an estate and you're this upset? Excuse <laughs> me? You're better than most people in this country right now. She, she really liked her... mom? Aunt? Question mark? Whatever Question mark? it was. Question mark? <laughs> I don't want to spend any more time down here than I have to. Your cousin turns and motions to an old BMW parked near the bus kiosk. You follow her, clambering into the dusty relic. If you have an estate, why are you driving a dusty relic? Maybe it's an old, dusty estate. You don't know. <laughs> I guess. It doesn't. You need to get some sleep, kid. It doesn't <laughs> yeah, take much driving does. before the only signs of civilization are the car you're in and the road you're on. Tabitha remains in icy silence as she focuses on the road. Tip, dialogue options labeled explore can usually be taken without advancing the story. They can impact relationships and unlock additional story paths, so choose carefully. Well, hey, we're going to explore what that means next time on Scarlet Hollow. 